another trip to begin here. We are at the, uh, we're on Boulder Mountain. This is a mountain I haven't done before. We're at the Pleasant Creek Trail Complex. This is what it's called here on the sign. Um, I've backpacked Lower Pleasant Creek. I've done Middle Pleasant Creek. And uh, so I'm excited to go check out Upper Pleasant Creek here. We're gonna loop around it. Um, potential to be a 12 mile trip to a 20 mile trip, depending on how far we extend the loop. Uh, I forgot my insoles. Uh, so I'm hiking without insoles, so that may dictate the distance of this loop. <laughs> Devin here, he's the one who came up with the idea. And he's got his friend Dane here. Yeah, ready to get at it. Let's enjoy the weekend together. Get some fishing. There's Dane. You will. Beautiful place. Yeah. Thanks Dane, the gatekeeper. You shall pass. We just uh, hit a junction for Trail Pleasant Creek. Um, it's a dead end sort of trail. It takes you two miles up to a waterfall for, Pleas uh, for the creek there. And uh, we're gonna head up about a half mile. Should open up into a real nice meadow uh, with some clearings and small groves of trees that should make, in theory, really good looking campsite from satellite imagery. And pretty meadows up here. Love the aspens surrounding these green grassy meadows. Lots of fir trees too. We are officially into finding a campsite mode now. Just checking out this gorgeous flat meadow down in here. We got camp all set up. This is home for the night. So Devin's out with this, uh, how do you say it? Lanshan One, it's pretty popular on Amazon right now. And I am out with uh, my XMID. And uh, this will be my first night in it. So, excited for that. And then uh, Dane is using a Pry Outdoor Products Bryce One. Looks like it's on loan from Devin, I assume. I bought it from Devin, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Even better, it's, has come from Devin. it's now Dane's tent. <laughs> cool. Dinner time. So Devin was kind enough to uh, give me a new flavor of this peak refuel here. It's a chicken pesto pasta. I'm pretty excited to try it. Um, yeah, good. should be good stuff. So they uh, apparently released six new flavors last week, and this is one of them. So thanks, Devin. You're welcome. Let's see how good it is in a, about 10 minutes here. Yeah. This will boil real fast. This one uses eight ounces. Like some gorgeous color in the sky right now. Beautiful. We're all tucked away in our tents now. Uh, spent the last bit of daylight uh, fishing the creek down here and obviously uh, got too dark and hard to see where we threw on the line so nothing came of that. It's been a nice evening. Mosquitoes went away and Got cold pretty fast, so gonna get all bundled up in the sleeping bag now and get
get on with the night and looking forward to a big day tomorrow. Good morning. It's day two of our little three day adventure up on Boulder Mountain here. And my, what a morning it's been. Um, I was the early bird up, and early birds get the worms, and there were some amazing views. Uh, quite a show in the sky today with the sunrise. Um, now I got the food down and uh, boiling up some water for some breakfast. I'm just going to do oatmeal this morning, but I uh, haven't decided yet. I do have some Mountain House eggs too, but I think it's just going to be oatmeal and hot chocolate for this morning and uh, save the uh, breakfast skillet for tomorrow morning. So, the other guys aren't up yet, but I'm sure I'll be pretty soon. Well, the morning went from great to not so great. I just did a big no-no. Um, I'll just show it. Look at this. What I did to my tent. Melted some big holes into the netting, the uh, bug netting here. And uh, it's because I had the alcohol stove going right here, warming up water. And even though I had the windscreen around it, the breeze coming down the mountain here was enough to push the flames out even with the windscreen and somehow blew them up onto my tent here and that's that. So last time I ever tried cooking with alcohol anywhere near a tent. Well, Dane and Devin are gonna stay back finish packing up their camp and uh, do some stream fishing down in the creek uh, down below camp there. Really nice spots, uh, some nice deep pools for them to go try. I'd stay and try too, but I'd rather go chase a waterfall, so that's where I'm off to. So about a mile, mile and a half up to uh, the base of the falls up here. Just looks really cool, got to zoomed in on them with the other camera last night and and it looks like a pretty good waterfall uh, it's a waterfall that I uh, have not found pictures of on the internet at all yet so uh, always fun to see something that you've never seen pictures of so let's go check it out a little longer to get up here than I was hoping for. Quite a climb at the end. A lot of boulder hopping, a lot of log hopping, a lot of meandering in and out of the creek. Uh, the trail just its pretty non-existent most of the way up. So luckily GPS is a great technology to have guide me up here. So 
gonna turn around and start heading back down, catch up with the guys so we can uh, get on with the hike out of camp and up to the rim and up to Pleasant Lake. We have left camp and on our way back out to the uh, junction with the main trail so we can begin our ascent up to the rim. Fun, fun, fun. At the junction, up, up we go now, up to Boulder Top. I just uh, stopped for a brief rest and a snack attack break. You know, back on the trail, getting ready for the, the more strenuous part of the climb up to the rim here, right up the ridge top. Kind of cool how the trail through this little part is just loaded with dandelions just on the trail. Trail crew. Could you imagine like a picture from right here in the fall? Especially that right there. That would look amazing. That's a big falls. That's really cool. Get up to uh, Boulder Top. Thereabouts here. The hardest part of the day and the trip is behind us now, and we are just working our way through some trees here and some snow patches and uh, just past an incredible overlook viewing out over toward the Henry Mountains and down across the highway to Lower Bounds Reservoir and out into Capitol Reef and uh, also very surprised to stumble into a group of uh, young women a couple leaders there I've been spending four days out here uh, doing pretty much the same loop we're going to end up doing, only the opposite direction. Uh, and I think that uh, Devin thinks it was a therapist group, so a therapy group getting some wilderness therapy in. And uh, yeah, first people we've seen since uh, we pretty much started the hike yesterday. I heard that I was like, see, whoa. Well, we we're officially at Meeks Lake here, sitting on the shore. Oh, Can't get any closer without getting wet. These and this is a prime <laughs> spot for a lunch break. Pretty sweet, huh guys? Really? <laughs> Okay, we're saying farewell to Meeks Lake. Got about two, two and a half miles to Pleasant Lake with hopefully some epic views from the edge of the rim up here on the way there. So, getting stoked for that. Thank you. 
There's the uh, waterfall that I uh, hiked up to about as close as I comfortably could this morning. It's pretty awesome from up here too. So right down there is where we camped last night. Right down that meadow. So we've been passing by some big ponds along the way to Pleasant, Creek, Pleasant Lake up here and it's just absolutely roaring with croaking frogs. Pretty amazing. There she be, Pleasant Lake. We have arrived. Well, made it to Pleasant Lake here and uh, came around it a bit looking for a place to camp. Kind of scouted out a few areas further away, hoping to get a little further away from it. Um, but it's just not working out. So we did find a site that exists a little a little closer than we'd like on the edge of the lake here, but call it good where we're at. All right, looks like everyone's got their tents up. I'm kind of back here. Settled into camp, tried some fishing around the lake earlier and none of us got any hits. I was doing a woolly bugger with a little uh, propeller on it and uh, on a bubble and yeah, no action whatsoever. We haven't seen one fish jump or hit the surface or, or anything. So really odd because there's lots of bugs flying around and um, just yeah, don't know why. It doesn't seem to be any fish, just a few dead ones right beneath the water along the shoreline. Um, I just took a little walk out into the meadow, Pleasant Creek Meadow behind us, and kind of neat in there. Not as green as could be, but uh, I think it still coming to life after all the snow that's been up here. Um, it was really pretty walking down along Pleasant Creek and walking out to the edge of the rim where it starts cascading down towards the falls uh, so that was fun so we'll see it all again in the morning under different light so after a fun hour of back down in the meadow we actually went up 
the other way from where I went earlier and saw some elk. Devin got some really good video of it. Uh, he used the stalker skills and <laughs> got pretty close to him and got some pretty good video for uh, on his phone there. And anyhow, we are back at camp now and we are trying to keep a fire going. Just a little last hurrah for our final night of our three day trip here. It's been a great, great day so far. Hard day, a lot of elevation gain, but some incredible views. And a bit more of that to come tomorrow on our way back. So. Good morning, or wet morning, because it's raining, as it has been for much of the morning before waking up. Uh, but it's day three now, final day out, and uh, yeah, looks like it's going to be like this most of the way out. Just this light shower on and off, and uh, going to be good fun packing up in this. I'm cold, and I'm hungry. I'm gonna get some breakfast now. All right, we're all packed up, on our way out. Really windy though. Woo! Goodbye, Pleasant Lake. So this route we're on, even though it's got a full on trail laid out on the topo maps, it's not much of a trail for several sections. Um, we actually keep finding ourselves getting off trail uh, because it follows a bunch of rock cairns, uh, especially through this, these forested areas. and. All these snow patches keep sending us off different directions. And as you can see, I'm definitely not on a trail right now. Um, we're just checking our GPS dozens of times. 
uh, throughout this trip here. Find our way back on the trail where we start to see Cairns again. And uh, yeah, but it makes it more fun. Makes it feel more wild and remote despite being lots of roads and cow grazing up here, cattle grazing. Um, roads being, you know, back the other direction, but up along the rim here, it feels as wild as anywhere else. I love it. Hey, we found a cairn, back on course. Other trail markers along the route are these little eyes on the tree that we have to keep looking for when the cairns aren't there. like another lake or pond down there. Woo! Love these views. All right, here's a tour of the view from up here. Got Lower Downs Reservoir down there and a little lake down there. Henry Mountains again out in the distance. Come around the rim top here and there's a patch of trees right there. That's where we switched back up to the rim yesterday. Hit the top of the rim. Kind of meandered across top of the rim, in and out of trees, back to the rim, through the forest, back to the rim. And then ultimately ended up back in a bowl, back in there, in those trees where uh, Pleasant Lake sits. And then you can see some upper falls here descending out of Pleasant Creek and it keeps going through the trees there and then it goes down the big falls which are out of sight behind the trees down there down into the canyon down there Go. It's like a shot of Golden Throne out there. A little hump to the right of that little saddle there. So we are now officially descending from the rim top now after breaking for lunch with an incredible view. And now we're going down the Behunin Trail and about a mile down a nice descent here down into a place called Bear Flat, which is a, a meadow about halfway down and then uh, another mile to close out the loop back to the road we came up with and uh, about another mile, mile and a half from there to the car back down at the highway. So three to three and a half miles to go, all downhill. This trail is so pretty. Got a nice mix of lime green aspens, all lush, and uh, dark forest green fir trees, and then uh, some grassy, or not grassy, but uh, green vegetation car carpeting the, uh, the bottoms here, and you've just got your that variety of deadfall and boulders and just just a variety of colors and textures. Really pretty.
keep walking by wild raspberry patches, but uh, they're just barely budding for their fruit. So, unfortunately, no good fruit to uh, pick yet. I think we're about to enter into Bear Flat here. Wow, pretty. Bear flat, everyone. may have mentioned it yesterday on my walk up to the waterfall, but if I haven't, or if I have, I'm gonna say it again. Never have dandelions looked so beautiful. Because that's about all there is in these meadows. And they are just covered in yellow. Well, we've closed the loop, just uh, about 50 feet back behind us. We uh, joined the pleasant cr or the uh, road up here, and that means we are on the home stretch back to the car now. About a mile, a mile and a half to go. Awesome. And we are just about there. We've made it back to the car. We are done. Packs are off now and uh, can load up in the car. Fin closing thoughts on this trip was, uh, it was amazing. Thanks goes to Devin for hatching the idea to come down here and get away from all the high runoff in the Uintas. And uh, I think this trip turned out great like uh, a lot of variety a lot more variety than I was expecting to see up here and it uh, really surprised me in a pleasant way of course Pleasant Creek and Pleasant Lake can do that ha 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 but uh, yeah would be super stoked to bring Jess my wife down to the same route at some point in a future year yeah, so that's 
that's a wrap. On, on down to Tori for some food and back home to the families. All right. I say all right a lot. I'm gonna stop. That's my goal this trip. Stop saying all right. <laughs> saying all right. I begin all my every... clips all right. You have no idea right, how many I right. edit. Every video, every shot I take, I edit out and all right at the beginning. <laughs> and all right, guys. Enough for McConaughey. All right, so, all right. <laughs> this is a miserable habit. So, uh, anyways, we're gonna edit that out. <laughs> oh, almost forgot. I fixed my tent. Yay! No holes!